What is up, YouTube? Thrift School over here outside of the packaging depot where I drop off my UPS Amazon shipments. We have some awesome eBay orders here. I want to flash them up on the screen real quick. Uh, we sold an iPod Nano Touch, one of the newer 7th generation ones. Sold that for $140 on best offer. We sold a Batman just tiny little action figure guys i'm surprised 150 dollars is what i think it sold for really really awesome and then i did a little bit of retail arbitrage for amazon and i sold them via merchant fulfilled i sold three bags of potato chips for 19 dollars and i purchased each one of them for i believe 90 cents a piece and the amazon list was for a lot of three so the buyer paid shipping on the potato chips as well so not bad those are three uh pretty good sales and then back here we have all the amazon shipments we got one massive 40 pound box it's a 20 by 20 by 20. we have two smaller boxes they're still pretty big and uh, we got to go drop these off this is about 200 or so items that i need to get dropped off and start getting sold it's tuesday so this stuff should be in amazon's warehouse and ready to sell before the end of the week and i'll be making that money honey all right let's get inside and then we're gonna go to goodwill totally forgot there was another box also another big box so we got two big boxes two little boxes i'm gonna grab a forklift thingy i don't know what they're called what are they called little lift i need it here we are we just pulled up outside the goodwill and i want to mention real quick with these ebay packages i get a lot of questions asking about my ebay store i always have it linked down below in the description i'm actually going to move it to the top link so you guys can check out the ebay store purchase some things if you want to i won't complain i'd be very happy i've been listing like crazy i think i have about 400 listings now i've done over 100 listings over the weekend i've been killing it lots of toys lots of games lots of odds and ends bunch of random stuff so check it out if you'd like to it's gonna be linked in the description below but let's go inside goodwill and see what we find all right guys so first things first we got to check out that glass case and i see these 40 dollar items back to back not looking very promising maybe these fortnite things are worth a lot i had no idea i did look them up and they were only going for about 25 dollars new on amazon yeah, $40 is kind of crazy. I don't see a price on this model. Maybe underneath. Yeah. Oh, let's zoom in on that. $25. <laughs> no. Uh, I actually didn't look that up. I didn't think it was going to be worth too, too much more than that. These Fortnite things definitely weren't. And neither was that PlayStation kind of flight stick. That ended up not really being worth much at all either. I think right around that $40, $50 range. Now, this is pretty cool. A $15 LED TV. I thought about picking this up. It's good for testing video games on and just testing electronics on things that you buy and sell online, things that I buy and sell online all the time. And uh, I didn't pick it up. I don't really need another little TV. I use one already, so I'll just keep using the one I have. Now, I'm not seeing anything too great down this aisle. I see these speakers right here, $8. I did scan them in. They're not going for much at all, but... A Samsung digital picture frame. This could go for a decent amount of money, maybe 30 bucks or so. And I'm trying to find the price on it. And okay, cool. I found the barcode. And, oh no, the price, $40. What the heck? That is crazy expensive. Somebody was really loving that $40 sticker gun today. And look at that. He cut it in half, 20 bucks for this Craftsman Miter box. I did look it up and they're selling for that price on eBay, and that's with shipping included. I mean, these things are really only selling for like $10 plus $10 shipping, not good. But we do find our first win, this Lupin Louie board game, $10, it seems extremely high, but it is brand new. That little Sharpie over the barcode is very easy to take off, just with a wet wipe, really, they come right off. But uh, we did find our first winner. I will go over everything at the end of this video so you guys can see how much money I'm going to make this CD box set at $10 is definitely too expensive. It, after fees on Amazon, you'd get right around, you know, eight, nine dollars. So you'd actually lose a couple bucks buying and selling this. The prices here are very, very high today. They must have someone new in the back pricing things because these prices are just not good. <laughs> and uh, I always notice this whenever the prices are really high. I walk into a thrift store and there's always so much stuff and that's because the prices are high. Nobody's buying this stuff. And 
you know what you give it a couple weeks and then the prices come back down because they have too much stagnant inventory on their shelves that they have to get rid of i'm just kind of picking through some of these dvds here and there's really you know nothing too special in here i find a cool little box set but six dollars is a little high on that i actually didn't scan it in and it could have been going for a little bit but i decided to leave it behind it's no big deal and you know maybe i'll take a quick look at the cds here see if there's anything new and sealed i do scan through them weekly so you know there really isn't anything super new here there wasn't anything for me anyways, but I come over to the shoe section just because this kind of caught my eye at $6. These are a clear pair of Yoki shoes. Uh, they're only going for about 15, 20 bucks over on eBay, so they wouldn't be worth it to buy and sell, but those are really unique. I've never seen shoes that are clear like that. And then I see over on the men's side, a pair of Nike shocks. Guys, I remember buying and wearing Nike shocks when I was a kid all the time, $18 though. It's a little high, the size is really small, the laces are cut, they're a little dirty, they're not horrible, but it, a size 8.5, they're not selling for that much money to be honest. These shoes are $15, I couldn't even find a brand name on them to be honest, they just said fashion on the side. Uh, prices are a little high with these shoes, another Nike pair for $15. Uh, this Nike pair, I was like, oh, I'll just take a quick look, yeah, $15, I kind of assumed they would all be 15 and oh, prove me wrong, 18 <laughs> the prices keep going up, but hold on, I think we might have found something pretty cool. These Nike shoes right here are very unique, I've never seen anything like it, and they're actually cheaper, they're only $10, called Nike TL Air, never seen anything like this before guys, but these are going for a hundred plus dollars over on eBay. Now they do need a little bit of a cleaning, which hey, I'm totally cool with. I've never found a pair of Nikes like that look like this before. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys have ever found a pair of Nikes like this and if they sold for you because they seem to sell on eBay pretty regularly. Now these Keens at four dollars, that is a solid deal. I threw them in the cart without really looking at them. I do look at them a little closer later on and I realized that they're actually in really really rough shape uh, a lot the size tags missing on them they are extremely grungy on the inside and a lot of this inner lining is starting to rip apart so at four dollars I did leave them behind I couldn't find the size tag on there at all I did leave them behind but a piece of clothing that I purchased is actually this guy right here and I don't purchase clothing super often I do I just don't purchase it super often this is a Tyndale FR FR stands for flame resistant this is five dollars great size 2XL very big shirt and these guys can go for thirty dollars and up uh, hopefully this one does you know that 2XL is pretty big so it should help it sell the bigger the size is usually the better for in my case anyways so I threw it in the car and I will get on listing that when wait what do we have here is this the same clip no it's not I found another one <laughs> super stoked we got two of them all right now I could just do a multi quantity listing and okay hold on we found a third one all the same size all in perfect condition guys if I list these for 30 bucks each they cost me five bucks each we just set quantity of three I only have to take one set of pictures and we are good to go it could potentially be ninety dollars in sales right there again just like the shoes almost another hundred bucks super happy see this really cool looking Jeff Gordon NASCAR jacket I thought it was sweet, but at $15, I couldn't take it. It's a shame, you know, if it was five, six dollars, and I'm sure you guys were peeking an eye at this Tommy Bahama, it's actually half off at $9.99, so it's only five bucks. And now I'm realizing, no, that Jeff Gordon one was green, so that wasn't half off. Yellow was half off. Uh, that Tommy Bahama at five dollars might have been worth the pickup. I decided to leave it behind. No biggie. And then we have this cool Tommy Hilfiger. I really liked it. It was a unique cardigan. It's a size medium. It's my size and it's half off at five bucks. I should have bought it for myself. I left it behind. Let me know down below in the comments if you would have bought this. If I don't know. This isn't really my style. <laughs> but it is really nice and maybe I could wear it to nice events. I always wear hoodies and sweatpants. So I need to kind of up my style game I guess. I don't know but we're gonna head out of this thrift store I want to show you guys everything I ended up picking up and we're gonna go through it all show you guys the prices and how much money I'm gonna make all right 
right, guys, we are back at the house. This is everything I picked up, as well as a couple things on the table over there we will look at in a second. But I want to show you guys this Lupin Louie. I know you saw it. $10, guys. Ah, it's obviously more than I'd like to pay, but I'm going to sell it on Amazon. So I'm just going to ship it off to them. And I will be making, I believe it was $14 after all my fees and what I paid for it. So spend 10 make 14 I am cool with that. I'll take that profit all day. Then I picked up this shirt. I know you guys didn't see this. Let's see if you could guess the brand right there. That's pretty obvious. ST, Southern Tide. This shirt is, um, honestly, it used to be really good. I don't know how it does anymore. Not to lie, guys. I kind of bought it for myself. It was only $5. Nice Southern Tide. It has its logo right on the chest, but there's the little logo. It's a cool little fish. Keep an eye out for that. This brand used to sell really well. I'll put some comps up on the screen so you guys can see how well this brand is still selling. I believe it's still selling well. I don't see why it wouldn't. It's similar to like a Vineyard Vines or a Johnny O. Um, just kind of like a frat boy kind of style. But I really like the colors. I love that blue. It's one of my favorite colors. So I figured why not? Might as well get a nice little dress shirt for $5. And then I know you guys saw these. This is awesome. So I don't really... I mean, I do buy clothing every once in a while, but I don't specialize in clothing on eBay at all. And this brand is a great brand to keep an eye out for. It's Tyndale. See a logo there and there. Great brand to keep an eye out for. It's flame resistant and it's made in USA. Those are two awesome signs. These were $5 each. And if there was just one of them, maybe I would have left it. And the only reason is because I don't really like enjoying, I don't enjoy listing clothing at all. I just don't like it. So I don't really do it and I don't really buy it because of that. But these are a size 2XL, which is a pretty large size, pretty good. And then I found three of the exact same shirt, all size 2XL. They're all in perfect condition. So all I have to do is take photos of one of them, list them, and just put quantity of three. So if I list them for 30 bucks each and I have a quantity of three, there is no problem there. That is super easy for me to list and it was definitely worth my time at that point. Um, they might even go for a little bit more than 30 based on the size, maybe $35, but that's probably the most that you can get for these. Uh, it's nice because they are at least a pattern on here. A lot of times with this brand, you'll see just either plain orange or blue, just plain colors. So it's nice having a little bit of a pattern. Now let's move on to something kind of silly. I actually didn't look it up. I saw this when I was leaving. It was only $1 and it's Dan Marino. I'm a Dolphins fan, so I figured I would just snag it while I was leaving. They had a whole bunch of different players. Now, Kobe Bryant just died. Uh, so a lot of his stuff is going up in value. They had a whole bunch of basketball players, a whole bunch of football players. So I started looking through, I freaking loved watching Kobe. He was awesome, right? So I would totally appreciate it. Well, they didn't have him. They had a few other players I didn't really know. Then they had a few football players. Didn't look this up. So we're actually going to look it up right now live. Let's see. There's some players right there. There was actually different ones than these. Oh no, there was a Brett Favre there. And there was a Troy Aikman and then some other players. So I'm going to scan him into Amazon and I doubt he's going for anything. I'm going to let you guys see it right up here on the screen. I don't even know. I'm going to scan it after I'm done filming. So you guys will know if it's good or not. If it didn't pop up on Amazon, I'll post some eBay sales. If there's no eBay sales, well, then there's a sad face right here. <laughs> um, worst comes to worst, it was only $1. A lot of these... Uh, that they had sitting in a basket were all different prices. They had $3 ones, $5 ones. I don't know why, but this one was a dollar. And then the best score, guys, this pair of shoes, these pair of shoes right here, these Nikes, they're called Nike TL Air. And these were $10 while the rest of the shoes were between $15 and $18. I ended up putting back those Keens that you saw. They were only four bucks. Maybe I should have gotten them, but they were in some of the roughest shape I've seen. They didn't look horrible on camera, but the further I looked at them, they were just really destroyed and I just didn't think it was worth it. But these ones are really cool. I like how they have the logo right there. Uh, this one is actually a little messed up as you can see. It's not perfect, but you know, these shoes are pretty dope and I think they're going to sell for 
over a hundred dollars. So keep an eye out for these shoes. I've never heard of them before. I knew of Nike shocks and I know you guys saw those there. Those used to sell for a lot more and maybe they still do in the bigger sizes, but that 8.5 that they had there was obviously too small of a size and they didn't really sell very well. These though, the TL Air, keep an eye out. This is a special tissue. It looked unique to me and that's why I looked it up. Uh, pretty awesome guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School signing out. See ya.